Hi everybody, Flash Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to another day of Medieval Dynasty. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Um, I've already been doing some stuff this morning. I went hunting uh, to try and get some leather. But uh, what I'm in a hurry for is because I'm fighting the sun, basically. I'm going to... Um, oh, maybe not put them there. I'm going to make a sundial. I think it was, uh, well I don't think, I know, it was Melody who suggested it a few videos ago. Um, so um, it's not going to be fantastic and big and whoa, whatever, it's just going to be, um, no, that's not what you want. It's just going to be a tiny little thing. Need it somewhere relatively level, but I haven't got much time to waste, otherwise the sun will be moving. Um, maybe there. Right. Now, the thing is, is that the shadows are a bit weird in this game, I think. What's the time? 6.54, so I can start it from 7 o'clock. Um, I'm going to drop a... Hmm, I'm going to drop an iron bar maybe. I do want to use a copper bar, but I looked and I don't have, um, I've only got two copper bars, I believe. Yeah, so I can replace them later. But just for now. Uh, come on, don't mess around. So I think there, what's the time? 7.03, that's close enough. The thing is, is that the sun, the distance apart, because I've tried this earlier with a couple of different methods, and I'm hoping this one will work because I don't want to, I think this will be the third time I've tried to record it. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit odd the way that the, I think it's because there's a bit of a slope and it's not level. So I, I started by trying to do it on the end of the shadow, but you'll see what happens. <laughs> it's the, um. The sun is very, in the game, they've got it very high in the sky, like overhead, which I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> because I'm in Australia, it's uh, completely different. Um, sundials here. Well, <laughs> a little bit different. Depends on your distance away from the equator. Um, so... Let's see what the time is. 7.44. See, that's not going to move very much at all for 8 o'clock. I better drop one in anticipation. And that's part of the problem with having them in too, whoops, of having them in too close. Because obviously the the further out you go, the bigger the distance is. But when we, when the sun gets around to about here, it's, it's only in very close. And I want to make it sort of symmetrical. What's the time? See, it's eight o'clock already, and it's only just next to it. I think I'm going to have to go out a bit. Um, about there and then bring that one out with a bit of a gap then not that much of a gap like I say it doesn't help that the slope's there I'll just do one more well see the time again 8.23 already. I'm 
I shall persevere. Drop another one. Yep, thank you. No. I think that's going to be... What's the time? 8.40. I'll leave it there. We can move it in a second. I'm just going to get a drink. Uh, what's time? 8.43, of course it is. I was in the menu. <laughs> I'm not going to make you sit through all of this. I'm just um, doing it so I have some talking in it. 53. Mm, that's going to come out just a little bit. No. Oh my god. time that's going to be close enough <laughs> right so i'm going to just fast forward this it's going to take the whole day or well, daylight day anyway uh well until the sun goes behind those trees anyway so i'll um i'll edit it a little bit and uh yeah see there the height of it has gone from being up here the height of the shadow to down there. So it's very peculiar. Anyway. 9.26, half hour to go. I'll drop another one and I'll see you. See you shortly. Well, that's four o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. And I'll be lucky if the sun stays above the trees by five o'clock. But some really <laughs> interesting time differences. 6.22.4, I'll drop one in anticipation. Oh no. <laughs> I hope that's the top one. It is. Oh, it's all going wrong. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's going to be like a repeat of the first slot. They're just going to be side by side. So, I've tried not to go too far away, even though the shadow is way down near the path. But. What's that? 440. Yeah, 444. So nearly five. I think the sun will be gone before we know it. This one here. Maybe can move over. No. Yeah, they're very, very, very close. I think that's it. That's as much as we can get till five o'clock. 5.06. Oh, no, there is a shadow there still. But as you can see, it's so close to the four o'clock one. Not that anybody will ever use it. I'll probably never even use it. <laughs> but it's something. <laughs> and plus what I'll probably do is, um, like I say, get some copper ones and extend just mm, maybe one, maybe two. 
to fan it out more and make it look a bit more special. I don't know how it's going to go on that hill though, or down the slopes. So I'll quickly go grab some copper because I don't have enough. Uh, where is he? Down here. Ah, Nicola. Excuse me. Just need to use the forge for a minute. There you go. Don't think she... Uh, copper? Yeah, copper. Yeah, I've got quite a few. Um, let's just do that. Yeah, so it's not exactly the uh, most riveting video, but I thought it was worthwhile trying it at least to see. It might be, well, it's going to be really hard to see it in any season other than winter, really, as far as the ground goes. Um, but what we've got here... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll just do a bit of editing <laughs> and drop eleven. Righty. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to put them on the outside? Maybe on the outside of these ones. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is twelve. That's noon. That deserves two, really. Doesn't it? Maybe. There you go, 12. Well, ah, oh. <laughs> I just needed to move it a little bit more. Oh dear. Ah. Curse the end of seasons. A uh, slew of inspiration. You feel inspired. You want to encourage your people to work harder. You could deliver a speech which should put them in the right spirit. However, a poor one may have a discouraging effect. Hmm. Well, luckily I have a diplomacy skill of 10. Bohaha. Yes, I shall deliver an inspiring speech. I hope. You think you saw one of them even tear up a bit. Your amazing speech gave people a lot of motivation to work harder than before. Consequence of your decision? All villagers work 30% more efficient. Boy, Rudolph, you've excelled yourself. I shall close. Whoop. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Excuse me, darling. Oh, you've got a quest. Ah, does he have one too? No. Just you. Why are you looking at me like that? I was going to go check out the sundial. I just had to put the bottom of the number two a little bit different. No, you're not impressed. I can tell something's up. Ah, uh, here goes. How are you? Hello, husband. Mood and affection is still up. That's good. Um, should I ask her to go pay the taxes first? <laughs> Hopefully this won't take too long. How's, well, how's my beautiful wife doing? I've been missing, what? I've been meaning to find you, actually. Well, I was just in bed with you. Um, 
There's something I'd like you to do. What is it? I took a walk around our settlement today and I hate how empty it is. Have you had a look at the tavern? Have you been down there? Of course you have, you used to work there. Um, and I hate how empty it is. It feels a little, mm, lifeless. Being either poor or boring is fine, but it's never a good idea to be both. Well, we're not actually. Uh, hard to argue with that. I'd be great if you built a few pieces of furniture and placed them around. Whatever you choose, I trust both your craftsmanship and your eye. That's a good idea. I'll get to it. Well, let me see what that is. Place furniture, 0 or 5. I've had this one before. Well, maybe will she want to go and pay the rent? <laughs> Excuse me, um, Amelia. Hello there. Hello. Um, I've got a little favour to ask you. What is it? Uh, could you take this money and pay the castellan, please? Of course, dear. I'm on my way. Right. And when you're gone, I'll knock up some furniture for you. Be well, my love. See you soon. Yep. She's not even going there. Alrighty. Furniture. Well, need to put furniture anyway, but I want to fix up that sundial. <laughs> oh. What? What are you doing? Why are you even doing that? Look. She, Amelia is going to come and tell you off now. You, you're in for it. Is that Amelia? No, it's her wiener. Hey, mum! Hey, mum! It's your fault. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, who knows? Well, I'm going to have to call you from somewhere else, obviously. Dopey horse. <laughs> okay, let's go check out the I was just seeing if they were flying backwards. Um <laughs> Yes, let's go check out the sundial. <laughs> as unimpressive as it is. Ooh, unlike the fantastic... Now, see? That's not bad. I knew what I wanted. That looks all right. I don't mind that at all. The cherry trees, I mean. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody's, some kids have been playing around and left a bunch of junk around the place. Let's have a look. Yep, that's what it looks like. <laughs> now, I wasn't happy with this bottom bit here. But I just needed to put it over here a bit. No, not there. No, don't do that. We haven't got time for you to mess around. We've got seats and things to build. That's it. Two. Twelve, I mean. <laughs> so that's twelve. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's completely useless. Waste of time. Nobody will even know it's there. The villagers couldn't care less wherever they are. It's getting jerky. 
Right, where am I going to put some chairs and stuff? Oh, why am I riding the horse like this? <laughs> no, don't. No. Um, chairs here? No. Um, nothing's coming out inspirational. Let's force it. Let's make it inspirational. I don't know why that's jerking. That's bad. I don't know if that's going to come up on the recording. It doesn't look so bad on the recording. I don't know what's happening. Right. It's too crooked though. The ground is too crooked. How am I going to put chairs there? I need to think of something. Well, I think it's too crooked. <laughs> Ride him cowboy. They could be a bit rustic. That's it, it could be the rustic. Yes, for hardy, hardy people. Hardy ha ha. That's okay. Yeah, crooked. Well, like I said, rustic. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we'll le we'll let them use that path there for the access. Have I done the furniture? <laughs> uh, rare. Oh, there you go. Quest completed. Let me, um, Will it let me put a pathway down there? It probably won't, will it? Oh, it might. Okay. Don't want to play that game. a strong word isn't it I don't like some of the aspects of this game when it restricts you in things that it would be relatively easy you'd think from to um, fix um, but then maybe players are pushing things more than what it was meant to be who knows right got path in here Um, hmm. Don't know, don't know. Need something more. Can't just do that, that's pretty basic. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, did you come over here to do that? Sorry. Right. So they'll have a nice little orchard here. A good picket fence. What more would they want? That would get the customers in, surely. No, nope, don't do that. Do that. Right. So, I think 
it needs to have can I put any let me there but it's no good putting one there unless it will let me put one there so halfway between the step and there and I should have put the other one in first because now that, that one will get in the way of me Ah. Hmm. Yeah, that will be okay. It's a bit of an out of the way place. It's just for the locals. Yeah. Well, I reckon that. I don't know. Well, I'm hoping that will be a video. <laughs> so, I've got to go talk to Amelia anyway. Is that my mum? Was that my mum? No, she's... It's not my mum. I'm um, in two minds... Let me get a flame out. Whoa! I'm in two minds whether or not to... Um, how far much... <laughs> be good if I could speak. Um, how much further to continue the stone wall? I don't know. I might continue it right up to this bridge here, just so that it's, you know, got that completed look. Okay, off you get. Right, let's hope she's here because I, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bash her in the head with that. Is that, is that her? It is, Amelia. <laughs> How did it go? It's done, you were right. The settlement looks much better now. I'm glad to hear that. You're really handy with woodworking. It's actually kind of titillating. <laughs> I was always pretty good with my hands. Oh, I'm perfectly aware of that. Are you flirting with me, lady? Watch out, I have a very jealous wife. By jealous, do you mean protective of her family? Remarkably talented and unprecedentedly beautiful? <laughs> ah, so you do know each other. I'll tell her you said hi. Yeah, I'll tell her you said hi, all right. Well, Better go to bed. Who knows? Good night, Bullseye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there a herald? I didn't see a herald. Or is that just... No, there must be, surely. Herald? Dee, 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 dee. I don't know, I can't remember if it shows it on here. Herald. Oh, there's a Herald at Jezerica. I didn't even see that before. Well, we know what we're doing tomorrow. Day two gives us another day to do it, if we need to. Providing he doesn't want leather, we should be all right. Although I've got a bit of it on me at the moment. Okay. Well, that's good. Gives me something to think about. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll get off. Don't put your feet on the bed. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. All I can say is, good night, John boy. <laughs>